Hey guys, check it out. I have full diamond armor and full diamond tools as well. This is awesome. Uh, but I can, I know, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Earth Twister, you didn't have full diamond armor and uh, full diamond tools in the last episode. You must have cheated. No, 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 no. Here's what happened, guys. If you remember, in the last episode, we stumbled across three places with three diamond ores each. So I ended up going back and enchanting our diamond pick. Well, we had Silk Touch on it, and I decided I'll go ahead and keep that. And instead, I enchanted this here diamond pick with Fortune 3. And luckily enough, we got Efficiency 4 and Unbreaking 3 with it. So then I went down into the mines, and that's when things got hairy. I am enjoying these caves in 1.18. They are so nice and deep and amazing and what? Why are there spider webs everywhere? I thought I killed all the spiders. Um, this is not, this is not good. Oh look, there's a slime. Hey, we'll go and get that later. Uh, what is that? I told you to stay out of my minds. Yet here you are. You killed my children. And threaten my master's plan. You must you die, Torchbearer. What are you calling me? A torchbearer? What are you talking about? This is... what? Taste my venom. What? Why? Why would I want to taste your venom? That sounds nasty. Why are you attacking me? What did I do to you? If you don't stop shooting your bow at me, I am going to come after you, and I'm going to stop you myself. You better stop. Seriously. This is annoying. Stop shooting me with your bow, and... Okay. Now <laughs> you're placing webs. This is... You are the most annoying thing to fight. More annoying than zombies. Succumb to the webs. Succumb to the webs? What are you talking about? I mean, you're succumbing to the webs. You're getting stuck in your own webs. What kind of spider queen are you getting stuck in your own webs? This is... What are you... Come on, man. That that was strange. That, uh, that came out of nowhere. What did, uh... There's a book and a... Ooh, an enchanted venom spitter. Interesting. Quick Charge 3, Unbreaking 3, Power 5, and Multi-Shot. That's not bad. And uh, Spy Spider Queen said that confirms she was definitely the Spider Queen. And of course we have this book. What does that say? This one grows bold. This one who? The Block Breaker. What's a Block Breaker? The Block Breaker must die before he discovers what you are doing in his village? There's a village near me. Does, do they mean... Do they mean my village? Destroy him and earn your title, Spider Queen. W. Who's W? What is going on? We're going to have to figure this out. This is uh, this not sound cool. Um, no, I, I don't like that. We're definitely going to need to get some better armor, though, so we're going to have to keep going for those diamonds and uh, make some armor. Make some armor out of those diamonds so that we can uh, better protect ourselves. And of course, we'll have to get them enchanted. We are in for a lot of work ahead of us. So after stumbling across and fighting the Spider Queen, we were even more intimidated. We had some things that we needed to do. We needed to make sure we could get diamond armor and we had to go there fast. So we went, we mined up those three iron ore spots and then we hit the mines even further. We knew we needed more diamond because Diamond ore is important. We didn't have enough for diamond armor and diamond tools, so we decided to go deeper. So we went strip mining. And pretty quickly, I found this. So now guys, that you are all caught up, here is my plan for the rest of this episode. Uh, see, we're struggling with enchantments. I mean, we have some great enchantments on this armor here, but we have absolutely nothing on our diamond armor. So eventually here, we're going to spend some time down in the, uh, in the experience farm, getting some experience. But what we need to focus on is we need to get a library set up. So while I gather some materials from our chests here, 
I'm gonna take a quick nap and I will see y'all in just a second. All right, so here is the plan for the library. Over on that platform there, right in this area here, is where I would like to build it. I decided that I did not like the library build over here. So as you could tell from the time lapse, we moved it. And uh, what do you guys think of the library? I think that it looks really, really good. And I am excited about what all is going to be going on inside of it. My plan is to ah, apparently fall. Um, but my other plan is to get some library villagers up here into our library and get them set up with some really good trades. I'm hoping for some mending, some unbreaking, some fortune, silk touch, and uh, of course, get some really good combat enchantments as well. Now, what I've got going on inside, it's not a whole lot just yet um, because I don't really have a whole lot of bookshelves. And that's the main thing I'm planning on decorating inside with. And I'm planning to put uh, some bookshelves in this area and in between. So say we'll have a stack of bookshelves here and then we'll have a librarian with their lectern and then a stack of bookshelves here and so on and so forth all the way around with maybe just a short little walkway to be able to get to the librarians and trade with them. And uh, I think that's the way it's going to work on this other side over here as well. And then on this side, we may have a couple of librarians uh, to serve as a bit of a front desk area and I've got set up right here our first lectern we uh, we do have a librarian down in the village because I, I set him up so I could get the uh, get a bookshelf and uh, we'll get some bookshelves going from that guy I really got to work on getting some emeralds so I think in between episodes here I'm gonna work on getting uh, some trades set up with the farmers that are down in the village as well to make sure we get plenty of emeralds to get all of the lecterns and bookshelves we need to finish this build out. Now between the time lapse and this build, I'm sure that you'll notice that the roof is a little bit different. It was acacia during the time lapse here, uh, but I changed it out with the stone because I thought it just looked too blobby, blending in with the wall of uh, acacia there and the deep slate. Um, and then I've got white stained glass up on top there making kind of a dome-like area, which I thought would be a really cool skylight. And then of course, this is my access onto the back of the roof, which I need to take down. Uh, and then I've got some uh, lightning rods here just to kind of add a little extra height and uh, pinpointiness, pinpointiness, that's a word, uh, to the builds here, just to kind of make the roof look a little bit different. I did use some uh, stairs here and then slab, slab, and then slab and stairs here as well. And I think it just looks really good for a library. And I'm excited to see what the inside will look like once we get all of the bookshelves in. Now guys, it is nighttime. Time for me to go to bed and sleep through the night to avoid any monsters. But before that, I have a comment of the week that I would like to highlight. And this comment for episode six comes from Effect Unknown, who says, congrats on the job. We roll the pick, you'll want Fortune 3 for the diamonds anyway, so might as well get it now. And I just wanted to say thank you so much Effect Unknown, it really really means a lot that you uh, left a comment on my video. You know it really helps out a lot and uh, I appreciate it for sure. And uh, it was some good advice. Um, though I did create an iron pick and get Fortune 3 on it. 
because I didn't want to re-roll my pick, so I uh, compromised a little bit there. But thanks so much, Effect Unknown. And guys, he is also another content creator here on YouTube. There will be a link for his channel in the description below, so go ahead and check that out. And while you're down there, guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another upload. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all your support, and uh, thanks again. See you next time, guys. Bye.